My name is Ron Perkins. I work for HDR. I'm the construction services manager for the water business group in uh, the southwest region, which is California, Nevada, um, Arizona, and New Mexico. HDR provides engineering services uh, from the ground up, mainly design work, but we also do construction services, and that's my focus. The first exposure to EA Docs was on a project where another firm was the uh, construction manager of a project that HDR designed, and we were supporting them on that role. Uh, RFIs and submittals would come through us, and they were using EA Doc. And uh, the administrator that was using it referred me to it, and she loved it. I took a look at it. We really liked it. Uh, next opportunity, we came um, to the County of Santa Cruz Sanitation District. We had a project uh, in Aptos that uh, we decided to try it out on. The, the client uh, approved the use of it, and we went forward, and it actually worked very well. HDR, um, internally, we tried to look at a, month, a lot of the projects that are out there and try to pick one to be a preferred vendor for us so that we could specialize in it. And that's not to say that we wouldn't be able to use other software. Every client's different. Uh, we're using different kinds of software depending on what the client needs. But if there wasn't that request by the client, we wanted to have a preferred system. When we were looking for the, the system that we'd make a preference on, uh, we wanted to make sure that it was comprehensive. Uh, in construction management, handling all the documentation is fairly straightforward, RFI submittals, the trackings. We also wanted to make sure that it had a link to the scheduling software. Uh, in the future, we wanted to make sure that there's some links to be able to have to BIM. Another big important thing for us was what was the deliverable at the end of the project. And actually, our first client that we used it on, on the Aptos Transmission Aid project, just loved the deliverable at the end. And actually, it's, that was one of the big selling points for EDOC. EDOC does work well with the way we like to do business. Uh, it's very logical, very organized, but it's also flexible. Uh, it's very important for us to meet our clients' needs, and every client's going to be different. It allows us to uh, do what we need to do and match the client's needs each one of those. Uh, so flexibility is, was a key issue that and some of the other products that we've used just aren't as flexible, aren't as easy to, to modify. The uh, Los Osos Wastewater Project has uh, been broken up into four construction contracts totaling uh, about $110 million. The unique thing that came out in the RFP was that the client was looking for a GIS interface to uh, the document control system. So based on how we've used the ADOC before, uh, I knew I'd like to use EA Doc on this one. I gave Eric Law from EA Doc a call, uh, had him talk to the GIS folks here in Folsom to see if they could respond and, and comply with what the client was needing there in San Luis Obispo, and uh, they did, and it's actually turned out very well. The Los Osos Wastewater Project is very controversial. It's a community in San Luis Obispo County uh, that has been growing since the 60s and 70s. Um, it's an unincorporated area, and the whole town is on septic system. Uh, and also their water, fresh water supply is from groundwater. So the state board um, saw that they had an issue and actually issued a moratorium for them on construction since 1983. And so the public outreach component of the construction was going to be very important. Every street on, on the whole town was going to be impacted from putting in this collection system. So being able to relate to the public and on a very controversial project was going to be critical. And that's the reason I think that the client was really looking to have a GIS interface to help them with their public outreach. It also allowed for them to be able to um, visually identify where construction was going on. EA Docs is an easy to use program, but it's also very powerful in what it does. Uh, the ability to have uh, distributed um, administration, having the contractor be able to control all the people he has assigned, having our uh, designers being able to control control all the sub-designers and their access to the system uh, with no additional user fees. We can make the, the project complete and all the stakeholders can be, be made, aware, made aware easily and quickly um, using the ADOC. It saves time on our, our end because the contractor is doing work themselves. When they're submitting an RFI or a submittal, they're generating it. They're putting all the information in and submitting it. We don't have to redo it every time in these systems. It's a matter of reviewing it and then sending it where it needs to go. Um, a good example of uh, how quickly we've responded to RFIs on my Santa Cruz Aptos Transmission Main Project, we actually had an RFI from, generated by the contractor, submitted to the CM. We reviewed it, got it to the designer, they retur commented, returned it to us, we got it back to the contractor within 45 minutes and that, for a critical response time on a critical need and that really kept the contractor moving and really helped the project. The 
cost management through the uh, potential change orders and change orders, uh, work change directives, um, has been very easy through eDoc. One of the advantages of eDoc that I really like is that you can pre-populate uh, labor and equipment. So being able to verify time material sheets during, for extra work uh, is very easy through eADoc and um, it, it's, it's a wonderful system. eDoc is very powerful in terms of linking information and the more linkages you create uh, which are easy to do, the better information you can have at the end in terms of, well, what did this RFI create? What was the issues related to this RFI? Uh, all you have to do is click on that and the links associated with that RFI and you can identify all the issues uh, and the background information. Uh, EADOC has been very, very supportive and, and quick on responses. The, uh, uh, the tab they use for submitting right in their system a response usually gets responded uh, within half an hour or minutes. Uh, the training has also been very successful because it's easy to use. It, the training actually usually goes very well and we don't need a lot of it uh, because we usually get teams up, up and speed running well. And then once the project's done all the information's there. And there's a great history um, and, and we all know what decisions were made and how they were made and we go forward. Okay, implementing EADOC uh, is usually pretty quick. The most complicated implementation we've had is for the Los Osos project where we tried to integrate the GIS website. Um, the EADOC website for construction management purposes is up and running right away. Uh, they issue you a, a unique uh, website address um, and Basically, with training, you're up and running the, you know, pretty much the first day. Well, the uh, Aptos Transmission Main Project in Santa Cruz, having the website uh, accessible by anybody on the team was very important because that's a fairly uh, remote area. Um, the client doesn't have a lot of the engineering firms locally, so most of the, their designer was based in Concord. HDR is here in Folsom. We had a CM team out there in the field, uh, but being able to have all these teams connected to the single website um, it made it like they were next door. Uh, we actually saved the client money on this one because the uh, administrator that we're using for construction management, the actual document control administrator, was based here in Folsom and didn't have to use the travel expenses to be there in Santa Cruz for the duration of the project. So the savings for the county uh, on travel expenses alone more than paid for EADOC. As a construction manager, uh, the most effective thing I can do out in the field is make sure the projects are successful, they're completed on time, on budget. Uh, to do that, it's really just about managing risks. The more I know of the risks coming up ahead of time, the more I can mitigate them. EADOCS allows you to take the output from of those risk registers with probability and cost and incorporate those into the cost module. Uh, in the risk module that's on there, you can identify the risk, identify the probability, identify the potential cost, and that allows you to track those costs so that your client, your owner, understands and knows what the risks are, the potential costs. There's usually no surprises. And at the end of the job, if issues come up, we can't say we didn't anticipate them. And usually we're pretty successful at trying to mitigate as many as we can ahead of time.